Alright, what's good YouTube? So I'm back, you know. Took a little break because I just dropped my newest tape. Only Us, Only Us, my newest tape is out right now. Southside Silhouette, Zodiac, uh, Young Hair, Lunchbox, you know, all the people in the underground, bro. We got them on the tape right now, bro. Come on. Yeah, we got a Utopia to tour, man. Travis, 5 billion years we've been waiting. 4 to 5 billion years, man. But yeah, man, right now I'm about to do something like psychedelic guitar, crazy stuff. But no more talking, let's get into it, man. Alright, so I already had a melody. We're gonna be in a 140 BPM. First off, you're gonna need a melody that sounds like this, man. That's basically the you get the you get you get the idea of it. So really psychedelic crazy. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So basically, so the first sound you wanna go into analog lab vinyl frontier. I think it's a pad and then you're gonna put down these notes right here something ambient angelic you know what I mean and then next you're gonna to want to go into damn oh augmented voices right here intimate and then put this down right here Something like a voice, like an angel, you know, something ambient. Next, back into Analog Lab, Axiac Elect Puck. And you want to put this down right here. Something like guitar, kind of. Next, we wanted to expand. We got Conga, Conga, Conga. This is real sauce, bro. This is something to add. focus on me. But yeah, this is real sauce for your loop, bro. If you want to sauce up your loops, bro, go into uh, percussion congas plus uh, bongos these are like a lot of these percussion loops will boost up your loops to make them sound like more like doo -doo 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 ambient type of sounds you know what i mean so okay, so next we went into analog everlast pad and put this right here you know what i mean and then next back into analog lab that basement riser this is a crazy bass let me put this down And I did make this into a one shot for you guys if you want, but I'm going to get into that later. So, augmented voices, gender morph. Put this down right here. Alright. How you get this sound right here? How you get that? So, basically, this is how you get that. So, alright. So, basically, this is real soft, so better pay attention. Alright, so. This won't work on loops, so this will only work on raw FOP. So, basically, you're just going to right click this, create an automation clip. And then you're gonna go here to master pitch. I have like my newest Utopia kit, man. Utopia kit in uh, honor of Utopia's dropping, man. I had to make a kit, man. A lot of new sounds, a lot of crazy sounds. I heard a lot of crazy drums in there too. So, so yeah, we got crazy amount of stuff. But you can go into presets right here and go into the master pitch, and then you can double click the pitch, and it'll bring up like um, like basically a graph. You know what I mean? This might look scary to some people, but it's not that scary, bro. It's it's nothing. It's nothing like that. You know what I mean? Let me know if you guys want more of these um, automation clips, though, because I, I, they're actually kind of nice to make. No, I'm kind of I'm nice with them, you know what I mean? So, basically, you're just going to drag in a psychedelic guitar, and then it'll bring up this one, you know what I mean, if you want that one, you know what I mean? So, and then what that will do is, basically, uh, make sure to take off the minimum and maximum, take that down, and then basically what you want to do is just let it play out. And then you can do high pitch, go ahead. And then I'll just bring up this one. You can make this one easy if you just want to copy, you know what I mean, whatever. But the main thing, the main thing how you get that real delay and everything is because I added this psychedelic go-to pad. So basically, like, come on, like, come on, like, that's really distorted. So I also added this one-shot pad as a one-shot so you can layer it onto the top of your loops. So then you could put it in the background and it would just sound nice. And then we're going to go into the drums now. All right, so we are in a new FLP, a new FLP. Same BPM, same loop, same everything. I mean, same everything. Same loop, but we did chop it up a bit. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a little bit of chops. Now, of course, these are extra steps, but I just want to give you guys like the best. I don't want to get a sample from YouTube. Get strike down by copyright cops, you know what I mean? And then... Like, come on, bro. Like, I, and then I get sniped, and then you guys don't get a video. So, come on. I'd rather make my own sample and chop it up for you guys. So, basically. Again, you guys hit the sample. Then I'm going to chop it up to this. Hear this. Hear this. Hear this. Hear this. Hold on. Hear this. Ready? Oh! oh, oh, oh. 
like all right even if you don't like any of my videos like come on bro you have to make like this one is wild like this one is crazy like come on so basically how i did this is i got the original sample and then i sliced it right here make unique as sample got this little like uh arrows stretched it take off the pitch that was a little quick but again stretched it two bars see two bars double clicked it right click the pitch to make it regular pitch and then it comes out uh, but if you don't want to go through all that everything is in my patreon bro everything you need to know this will have the chops this will have the drums like everything man everything you need so yeah basically let's get up into the drums though because i'm not trying to make this an hour long video like i'll be seeing some hour long videos like damn i'm not trying to watch all that like just hear these kicks bro these kicks are crazy you can use them for like those chop samples or just regular like trap sounds you know what I mean? For me, I'm just gonna use this kick right now. Let's get this snare. Yeah, probably like that. We want the better sound of snare. Like, we want it more outgoing, not, uh, you know what I mean, tucked in the background. Like, we don't rock with that, so. Basic uh, drum pattern, you know what I mean? Hi hat. I mean, these are industry standard uh, drums. I mean, so. Perfect. Yeah, that's perfect right there so but make sure to cut this off because i know this thing's gonna be going for years on end bro so cut it off like that little small kit for you guys so yeah and then let's go ahead and go into arrangement cool right there Four right there, four. And then we can even keep the keep it going with this like that. But then take off the hat right here. Should we keep the hi hats like that regular, or should we make some bounce with it? Keep this like that. Light hi hat bounce. Okay. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I actually, uh, but yeah, simple groove. I mean, you hear that sub bass in the background, like you can't go wrong with it. Uh, no, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll be doing more geeky tutorials, can't get tutorials, some of the tutorials, Travis got tutorials, mainstream tutorials, underground tutorials, man. Everything underground, man, I will be doing, man. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time, man.